Hi, Tara Whitney here from Whitney Consulting. We are funding specialists and I'm talking today about how to get your budget right when you're writing a grant application. So budgets are, are things that we often see problems with when we're assessing grant applications. And the reason that people seem to have a problem with it is um, they're not sure the level of detail to go into. So when you are doing your grant application, you've got to make sure that your budget is itemized. So you can't just say, we're going to refurbish a kitchen and it's going to cost $200,000. You need to give more information. So we, you need to allow the assessor to understand whether that is a reasonable estimate. So they need to be able to assess it and go, look, we, we are certain that they can get that project done for that amount of money. So give them that amount of information. So in a kitchen, for example, you would want to talk about any of the big pieces of equipment. So if you're putting in a new oven, you'd, you'd allocate some funding for that big piece of equipment so that they can look at it and go, yes, that's a reasonable amount to allocate to an oven. That's a reasonable amount to allocate to tiling or um, to plumbing, to electrical. So detail it in, the, in that, that way. So have that as your thought is, is, can they assess whether or not we can get this project done for the level of funding that we're, we're saying we're going to do? The other thing that we see with budgets often is people forget to put in um, items that they need to fund because of the grant. So some grant programs will require you to have an um, independent audit at the end of the funding, at the end of the project. And obviously you have to pay for that. It will cost money to get an order to, to, to do an independent audit. Other grant programs require signage to be installed. So if you have any requirements of the grant program, of the grant funding, such as signage or an audit or anything else, or, or maybe even a, an evaluation report that they'll want you to write or something like that, you need to make sure that you put those into your budget and cater for that because otherwise you will be out of pocket. Another factor that we get asked quite often with, with budgets is about contingency. Yes, you can have a contingency in your budget um, as long as it's reasonable. So if you start talking about more than 10%, then we're gonna sort of question why you would need that level of a contingency unless it's, um, unless it's very clear and it's a specific um, type of a project. So have a think about what you want um, to put in contingency wise and, and why it's needed. Now, obviously you are also going to need to state in your application that you will fund any overruns. So make sure that you don't um, forget something. Make sure that you don't underestimate how much the project is going to cost because you don't want to commit too much money. So you, you, you scale back on the budget. Because an assessor will look at that and go, I don't think they can complete the project within the budget that they've specified, which means the, pro which means the project's not viable, which means we're not going to give them the money because it, what is either going to happen is they're gonna get halfway through the project and ask us for more money, which we don't want, or they're, they're going to just not be able to complete the project and we're gonna end up having wasted our money. So make sure that you don't underestimate, but also don't overestimate in your budget. Don't put in requests for funding that you just don't need. Don't put in items that you don't need. Um, don't go over the top because that will also come across to an assessor. So be realistic. Look at what it is actually going to cost to, um, to, to do your project. And that is something that um, people often ask, oh, you know, the, the, the grant program is up to 50,000, so I wanna ask for $50,000. That's not the way to go. Don't ask for the maximum amount just because you can. You need to actually look at what will the project cost? What are the items that we're going to include? How much will they all cost? And then ask for the amount that you need. So don't ask for 50,000 just because you can, uh, because again, that is going to come across to the assessor and they're going to say it, it, they haven't done their budget properly. If you have any questions about your budget, if you're not sure where to go, don't forget you can always give us a call at Whitney Consulting. We are more than happy to help you. So send us an email. Um, or log on to the website, whitneyconsulting.com.au. Thank you. Bye.